For this product showcase, we're going to be taking a look at the ASUS UL50VF notebook, featuring NVIDIA's new Optimus technology. Now, this is the first of a handful of notebooks that include Optimus, so we're excited to see how well it actually performs. The UL50V is focused on portability and battery life. This is seen in the system specs with an Intel 1.3 GHz ULV Core 2 Duo processor. It also has 4 GB of memory, NVIDIA G210 mobile discrete graphics, a 320 GB hard drive, and all of the connection essentials. It's powered by an 8 cell battery and weighs a little over 5 pounds. And the best part? It's barely over an inch thick. Asus has designed the notebook with smooth, sleek lines, and the thin LCD features an attractive brushed aluminum finish on top. The inside is well laid out and looks sharp with the gloss finish. They use a single bar mouse button and dotted trackpad. The chiclet style keys have great response, making it very comfortable to type on. Quick look at the sides, we have all the traditional connections. Power input, SD card reader, HDMI, two USB and audio. On the other side, D-Sub, network connection, a DVD-ROM and third USB. The notebook is designed with the professional in mind, someone who wants something sharp and modern that is incredibly portable. They need exceptional battery life, but at the same time want the ability to perform the power-hungry tasks of a modern-day desktop. Now this may seem like quite the demanding list, but ASUS has done it, all thanks to NVIDIA Optimus. So before we get into testing, what is NVIDIA Optimus? Now for an in-depth description, follow the link in the sidebar. However, here it is in a nutshell. Optimus is a technology that allows a discrete graphics card in a system to operate alongside integrated graphics. And here's the clincher, unlike switchable graphics, which require the user to enable or disable the graphics manually, Optimus requires zero, that's right, no user interaction. So that's great and all, but what is the benefit? That's simple, you get the full benefit of a graphics card, meaning gaming, HD video, and GPU acceleration, along with far better battery life. A traditional discrete graphics system has terrible battery life because the video card runs constantly. Optimus lets you use low power integrated graphics for everyday things, and then the video card when and only when you need it. How could this be possible? Well, there's a few factors that allow for this to happen. With Windows 7, multiple drivers can now be installed, so our system recognizes both the Intel integrated and NVIDIA discrete drivers. Optimus works by physically cutting off or providing power to the discrete graphics when required, and because of a whole bunch of technical stuff, the change is instant. No flickering screen, no having to flip a switch or wait. It all happens in a matter of milliseconds. The key thing is that Optimus operates completely independent from the integrated graphics driver, so there's no relationship needed between NVIDIA and the chipset manufacturer. Meaning that in this case, Intel can't just decide to cut off support. So let's take a look at how NVIDIA Optimus actually functions. NVIDIA has included this handy little developer tool which will show us exactly when the graphics card turns on and off. When it's on, it's using power. We'll pull up Internet Explorer here and go to the Harbor Canucks YouTube channel. Now YouTube utilizes Flash. As of 10.1, supports GPU accelerated graphics. So as you can see, the graphics card is currently off. We'll go play our video and you'll notice, load it up, graphics card is on, we're accelerating. Pause the video, head, close it down, watch, and off, immediately off. We're back to using integrated graphics and lower power. Next, we'll pull up a video transcoding program which supports NVIDIA's CUDA technology. Graphics card turns on, program is up, and we're ready to go. It really is just as quick as you're seeing it here. Say for instance, we wanna do something a little different, watch an HD movie, perhaps. Ready, video is on, graphics are on, video is loaded and playing, and we are ready to go. Close that down and back to low power integrated graphics. However, if you know you're not gonna be needing the video card, the software does allow you to specify which graphics processor you want to use. Here you'll see we can opt to run the media player with integrated graphics. Now, when the video loads, the NVIDIA GPU will not engage. The Optimus system uses a profile setup to determine what should and shouldn't turn on the video card. You can see under the control panel that there are hundreds of different games and applications supported, and NVIDIA is constantly automatically updating and downloading new profiles for you. But if you do want to add specific rules for an application, in this case our media player, you do have the option. You can select to use the default global settings, discrete graphics, or in this case integrated graphics. 
Now when we launch our video, we don't have to make any custom selections and the video will always use integrated. With the demonstration done, let's check out how well Optimus and the video card actually perform. Check this out, in Left 4 Dead 2 with our quality settings at low medium, the integrated graphics couldn't even finish the benchmark, while the discrete card enabled by Optimus plays with perfectly usable frame rates. In our next demo, we actually got to play the whole thing with integrated, at 6 frames per second. NVIDIA graphics, well, completely smooth. Now one of the biggest benefits I see coming from this technology will be its integration into netbooks. Most can't play HD video or even dream of playing Blu-ray, and if they can, they're using a chip that absolutely destroys battery life. As we'll see in our Blu-ray test, Optimus will be able to pick up the slack for video, and we will be able to have absolutely flawless playback through GPU acceleration. On the same note, Adobe now has support for GPU acceleration with Flash 10.1. So streaming 1080p video, which normally would look like this, now plays back perfectly smooth. The other great benefit of having NVIDIA's discrete graphics on call is you get to utilize CUDA technology for applications that support it. So especially in the world of video and photo editing, you not only are able to complete tasks quicker, but you enhance quality as well. Now the most important feature for this notebook is battery life. And that's what Optimus is all about. For these tests, we present a worst case scenario where all the wireless connections are on, screen brightness is high, and the battery plan is unbalanced. At idle, the system stays up for over nine and a half hours, something unheard of with most other notebooks. Jumping to the bottom, both gaming and HD video heavily utilize system resources and require that the discrete graphics are on 100% of the time. Here we see battery life more in tune with what is expected from a system with a discrete card. While watching a regular DVD, however, we don't need the video card, Optimus doesn't kick it on, and we edged out quite a bit more battery life. Here's where it gets interesting. Our general use test went through a typical day of web browsing, emails, image processing, and over 50% of our time was spent watching YouTube. When running the system with Optimus, allowing the computer to utilize the video card when it needed, we only took a 9 minute loss to the battery throughout the entire workday. And to top it off, the UL50VF is back up and running within three hours. And with that, we wrap up our look at NVIDIA Optimus and the ASUS UL50VF notebook. Overall, the unit is pretty impressive given that it's only around $800, offers exceptional battery life, and has the benefit of discrete graphics to let you do just about anything. ASUS backs their notebooks with a standard two-year global warranty, which is almost unheard of for notebooks, so you know they stand behind their product. Now, as far as NVIDIA Optimus technology goes, it is quite possibly the best technology to come to portable computers in recent years. Notebook manufacturers have fought for years to find the perfect balance between performance and battery life. The two terms have really been mutually exclusive. The Optimus solution finally brings the two together. As we see with the UL50VF, we can have a low power and in comparison, slower performing 1.3 gigahertz CPU, and yet still play games, stream HD video, and do all of the things of a performance PC. The Optimus software is incredibly intuitive and the profile system still provides the user all the advanced controls in case they want to mess around. The hardware implementation allows for perfectly seamless switching between integrated and discrete graphics so there's never an interruption. Really, what's there not to like about it? Both the ASUS UL50 VF Notebook and NVIDIA's Optimus technology received the Hardware Canucks damn good seal of approval. As always, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and leave your feedback. Thanks for watching.